Hello everyone, in this what if, what if Goblin Slayer had the modified Bio Booster Armor Giver. <clears throat> in some of my videos I explained how the Giver unit may or may not be and have been teleported due to the malfunction of some of the prototype experimental weapons or devices they have not properly tested yet. <clears throat> so, without further ado, here's here we go. <clears throat> in the in the universe, I've <clears throat> sorry. In a universe, which we're not going to go into detail of, of that universe, but a particular planet. A planet that decided to be a testing ground. A testing ground to test or to make or turn to make humans into weapons. And, and from that, some of the humans become cre turn into creatures known as Zolanoids. In some details of the creators, I do not know. I forgot. I apologize. While they made hum the humanity with Zolanoid abilities for weapons, they also, for security measures, made another type of weapon, except not a beam, but an armor. Not a clunk of metal, but a bio, a bio-boosted armor, which they called Givers. The Giver unit, <coughs> there are I am sorry for not going to details, but I'll I'll do the details in the in in the other parts of the story. Some I already already explained in my other videos, but this time I'll I'll try properly do the explanation in other parts of in this story. <clears throat> After humanity turn into weapons or making humanity or you know what I mean after that made divers for security measures against the or a somewhat of a security detail or a, a, to keep an eye or, or due to the how behavioral the new beings known as zoonoids will be or will not And the creators of those beans and the Kyber units disappeared. We fast forward into the future. To point of the scene of what's left the remaining Zolanoids that are on the planet. Every Zolanoid, every bean, all in one particular spot. Or, should I say, craft. And an oddly experimental spacecraft. <clears throat> the ship containing what remains 
of the Zolanoids. <clears throat> the ship is about, let's say, is about a size of two football fields going straight and two football football fields, the wide part to the side of it. That is how big the ship is. Uh, well, how wide, long, and the same. Well, the white part is also is also the same thing as how tall it is. <coughs> we go into the ship, and we see the laboratory of of where. Some of the Zolanoids scientists that have been searching around the globe from caves, caverns, you name it, finding some of the, sh the remaining of the the creators' broken down ships. They did. They they just decided to just leave it there inside of. Some in each of those ships contained very small, let's say 20, 20 of the crater ship that have been left there on the ground. In each of those ships, <coughs> in each of those ships, contain fragments of a Giver unit. After they collected, they studied, somewhat experiment, modif carefully put together. But since these diver unit parts do not go well with each other, but time, effort, and a little creativity, and goes well with each other and something new something new not only the the Skyrim unit is not like the other but very different instead of the blades being on its elbows it will be at the wrist immediate swords like the the particular movie of Wolverine. <clears throat> yeah. They piece it together after they put it to structure perfectly. They do a mo somewhat modifications to the suit or to the guy unit. Now, besides <clears throat> modifying the lasers to be some of uh, some of a uh, sun, <clears throat> I apologize to turn the lasers not 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 just it as a weapon, but also can switch into a three D printer or, or in this case the ovals or Star Trek teleport or uh, the rep replicator it copies every detail of its of straight down to the atom it collects the detail from its scan or by internet which <clears throat> let's say in that universe is about this year Let's say it's up to that. No. Let's say you know for say for uh, let's say it's two thousand and nineteen. You know what? No, 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 no. It's two thousand twenty, but they <coughs> anyway. Some of the scientists decided to put 
have those have that type of ability into the suit <clears throat> and also can be access to the internet for instance for <clears throat> instant data or, or no they decided to use the internet to download very useful combat from from a uh, well, well, or the free wall, free runners, to the military, military combat, sword arts, combat, Krav Maga, judo, you name it, and also a type of land field or battlefield tactic tactics into the suit. And thanks to, well, they also type, also advance its adding from the, due to the, due to the feature of the replicator that scans the entire thing replicated with ease. They also modify that part as an x-ray vision. Can see through walls. That's all it's good for. See through walls. Nothing more, nothing less, or check what's inside the box. Nothing more, nothing less, you sickos. After modifying the lasers for also a replicator ability, X-ray vision, and download it with everything they can imagine. And also... Well, they modified the strength of the suit. Since, let's not forget, it's a bio, bio, bio booster armor. Part of it is also an or somewhat of or organic. Now, because of, the, of its... Well, which we all can see due to the features it wraps around, fitting the details. Or, you, you know what I mean. Then modify the strength by using a modified grown human size rat. Well, not just any type of rat. <clears throat> I remember a couple of months ago, two, two, three months ago, I saw a video. Now, I think it was on a, a particular Australian rat or, or hopping mouse that... If it were a human size, like nearly like a, a thousand miles per hour. Now, not not just a thousand miles, but it's but also its bite strength. Wow! If it were a human size, it put it would put an alligator, crocodile, hippo out of business. Wow! I forgot what the what type of mouse or name of that rat of the rat was, but please, if, if you do, please do leave it down in the comments. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> after experiments, trial and error, they perfected it. Af after its perfection, they got to work and carefully clean up the DNA of what's remained of their powerful leader. The DNA they found, luckily for them, or in their point of point of view, luckily they found some part of the DNA. But the issue was that. Where they found the DNA was not... Now, what do you think? It was a separate piece of the body. It was a cut-off piece of the body. And it being scattered to some parts of an alleyway or some type of parts of the building. Who knows what. Some parts of the DNA were intact. Some need to be do a little... 
clean up. The cleanup of that DNA with other bacteria would have well, <clears throat> they done with the cleanup and carefully put it into the device <clears throat> and before <clears throat> the reason why they didn't put it into well, they were waiting for, they were trying to <clears throat> be, before they even do that they I apologize the reason why they they went and tried to perfect the the suit because once they perfected the suit, they can insert the DNA in the back of the plate with a modified need. Well, the DNA at the back of the plate, like kind of like a like an egg or how a preg or how a woman's belly. Grow, grows bigger and bigger due to the it due to them being pregnant. It's like that. Except <clears throat> instead of being an egg, the guy for unit is gonna be its main it's going to be its main body or <clears throat> you know you know what I mean. Before they even get to that they heard commotions. Commotions. Sh shook of the ship. In a few seconds. A, a little bit calm. A few seconds later. Boom. An explosion. Right at the back. Right at the back of the. Sh right at the back of the room. Or the other side of the room. They saw the corpse of one of the four Giver of the one out of four modified Zolanoid thanks to the due to the thanks to the Giver unit they found. Sorry. Wait. Since since it was a two on one, they did not have no trouble defeating the. <clears throat> oh, sorry. After they saw the corpse of the modified Zolanoid, they saw two per two two intruders, which they recognize. Very well, and a mix of hatred and fear. They are what remains of the two Givers. Let's say, for name's sake, which, sorry, I forgot. Sorry to the people, I'm not very well with the details on the name of the original characters. Let's just call these two Giver Blue and Giver Black, or GB and GB, or <laughs> sorry, Giver Blue and Giver Double Blade. Yep, that's what I'm gonna. That's what. That's what we're gonna call them. After Giver Blue and Giver Double Blade had no trouble handling. Each of them had their fair share of exhaustion and a very little blood defeating him. They look over to the main lab, which after that, after the spot of the, the two intruders, one of these scientists Immediately alerted, silently alerted the other three modified, three out of four modified zoonoids. The scientists 
know very well that they did not have no chance, so they stood still, panicking, but that did not help them. Which, let's say there are 20, 20 scientists in the lab, and a minute later, <laughs> They had no trouble, which only remained, which they overlooked, and only saw two, two solenoids. One, the main scientist. The second, the temporarily leader of what of what remains of the solenoid. The solenoid. <clears throat> The leader, it's somewhat a little strong, just as strong as the modified Zolanoids. Before he off to fight the two, he glanced over to the scientist with the vial. Alert, tell him, look at him and without, by, by look at him. I don't know. Get ready to, to insert the the vial into the suit or into the Giver unit. After after the look, he went off and about a battle of his of a life, a battle of his. A battle to stall time for the let's call this scientist uh Bob Bob S slowly or hide and sneak his way to the suit, which the two did not know what what, what they were doing in here. But they do, they know very well they they had to kill every Zolanoid that were on that ship. The scientist was able to make made it to the to the cap to the Giver unit. He inserted the, the device, but at a second glance of the vial, he knows there's a hole. There's something l leaking. He he checked the he checked the vial and noticed it was fractured. The DNA that what, what remains of their powerful powerful leader was destroyed. The scientist well was mind broken. <laughs> he, the reason why he laughed because if, if you were a scientist and you, in a scientist per point of view, if they done up to a my a a months weeks to months worth of work, no sleep whatsoever, you're just. Wake, you just stir up, stay up by determination. <clears throat> the DNA of what they have to, the DNA of what, of what remains, they have to go through, or <clears throat> you know what I mean. All the hard work, clearing, perfected. All the hard work, mostly him. My broken, and that were that was their last chance. And back to the fight. While the guy Bob was sneaking his sneak snuck his way to the device, he dodging left and right. 
and somewhat dumb luck, which the same way how he got the the lead, the temporarily leader job. Somewhat dumb luck, able to dodge. He got cut cuts here and there, but he somewhat able to land some blows, but not 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 affected to them. He gained some distance, and he heard a laugh behind him. He thought, in his point of view, that laughter was pure joy. That they had no chance of within minutes. They will have their leaders, their, their leader, back more powerful than ever within a couple of minutes. But yes, the original Guyvers nearly less than 24 hours, more or less. But due to their research and modifications to the suit, like nearly just a couple of minutes, which actually in this suit, like the other one I mentioned, excuse me, the plate right here. Yes, they just leave it there, but do the, the the particular function of the of the replicator. But the main plate, the control plate, <coughs> is not is not at the surface, but between in the user and in the pocket of where the suit is stored. Like, if anything happens to that, that plate right there, nothing. It's just as powerful as the rest of the suits. Anyway. Oh, sorry. After he, he heard a laugh, he has no... He, he's not... was not afraid of doing a, making a suicide attempt. To go for their plates, which he failed, which he was blown back next to the next to Bob. He looked at Bob and see how long till he has restored, restored. But uh, looking at uh, Bob's face, he realized that. He's not in. He realized what's in. He realized the. <clears throat> excuse me. He was blown at the center of the lab next to Bob. He glanced, asking how long till he's full. How many minutes till he's fully restored? After he said those words, Bob turned around with a mix of, he appeared to be sad, but that there's out of, you know how I explained. He's not happy, but he's crying. He's not actually happy. His mind's just bloking and he's just crying in tears, mistaken for joy. He turned around. With that face, I explained, with the broken vial and that temporarily leader was went from out of mad happy to absolute that. He died for nothing. His attempt for buying time were useless. The two Giver Giver Blue and Giver Double Blade walked or 
over to the main walk over to Bob to see to see just just to check out what, what he was doing. But bef but before they can go near him three modified Giver three modified Zoonoids crash in. Guy for blue said uh and guy for double blade I'll take I'll take the two butt uglies to I'll take the two butt uglies. Guy for blue responded They're the same Giver double Giver double blade Shut up and kill kill those guys. Which they they had since there were three of them they have little struggles, which double blade Giver to end up fighting the two and up spreading the the fight, the, the battlefield, all over the ship, causing the double da damage, not only to the ship, but also what other, of what remains of the Zolanoid, that that were remained in the world. He went, double blade diver, went up, and left side to the ship. Diver blue, or Turquoise <clears throat> took the fight with the Zolanoid up nearly all over the ship. While they were having the fight, Bob snapped out of his madness. He realized what is going on. He checked the computer that well, in his point of view, he when he he checked the vial. Yet, even though the the thing is destroyed, but still got some DNA. But it's got yet again mixed up with other DNAs, which luckily he had some of a DNA captured or. Capsule for DNA, whatever. He he sealed it, put it in his pocket, or secured in a pocket, and he and he kind of, kind of saw unrest for with all the commotions, and he remembered that the vice that he made after. T t Discovering other parts of the plate, of the control plate of the Giver unit. Which he ran off to his somewhat office, which somewhat of a struggle, since the way the two Givers came in were the actual directions of where his somewhat of a lab or office was. He ran, found, grabbed, took the device, and brought it to aware of where the, what he thought of was of where the battle was going to be. He turned around, backtrack, a few minutes later, boom, right at the spot of where he thought the battle was going to be at. He heard, he turned back around, ran. And he saw the three corpses of of what <clears throat> he ran. He went into the to the room and found the three corpses of the modified Zolanoids. And after the glance, he saw the two 
intruders. One being into a pulp with dents, torn plates, crook, ripples, cracks. The other, the double blade Giver, missing an arm since he had a fight, fight two. Each of them with exhaustion. I hope that's all of them. Well, duh. I checked every. While I was fighting the two of them, I checked every part of the ships. Thanks for our, thanks for our fight, each and every one of them. If or what's left of the Zolanoids were dead. Which all that remain, all the Zolanoids that ever remain in the ship are completely dead. All but one. Which they they were not aware. They were, which they they overlooked again. They did not, they realized at the last second that they, they turn around and last thing they hear was <laughs> not at the armor, but at the, but right at the control plate of their control plates. The device that he, that the, that Bob was Grabbing was a specialized or modified weapon that that he modified to eliminate the circuits and or after he fires the after he fires the shot the two government units only got one minute of life. <clears throat> after he shot Bob realized that he done it. He killed the guy, the two pain, in his opinion, two pain it is behind. At, a, at his moment, he's, he's at a pure joy that he has done what others cannot, cannot do. Cheering, laughter of joy, saying the words, once you two are completely gone, oh, I'll, I'll get back to my research and clean up the DNA and brought, bring back our leader. And the two of you cannot stop, stop us. They, they now they realize why, what they were doing. They were trying to restore. Or bring back their leader, which they remember. They remembered very well that they it nearly cost them their lives just to defeat the guy. So they were. They they also heard the word heard him say that they they also kind of saw the DNA capsule or the capsule thing in his pocket they realize ah, screw it screw it they cannot move a muscle so they had to char charge up the cannons that are, that is on their chest the doc didn't realize it till the, the last minute turn around at the Givers, it's a heavy face, but it changed to a horrific face. Face. After he reacts to those two, of what they're gonna do? Boom! He had no, he had, he had no time to scream in pain. And yet. Another big hole in the, 
big hole in the ship. And the, the Guyvers only had just about 30 seconds. Which at that time they can feel them melting. Which the melting disintegrating part is if the control plates were removed from the suit. But since well since he modified the gun to activate that, also destroying the control plate of bringing them back. Well, actually the plate is also being disintegrated along with them, which he didn't he, he was also, Bob, was in a mix project of modifying the suit and cleaning up the, the, the DNA. Guyver Blue and Guyver Double Blade said their, said the word, Said the words of how they would have been if they never came across these things, nor the or the suit. So and so, dared to laughs and pass on. Nothing remains. Just very disgusting puddles. And. We go to the laboratory of where the suit was. While the well, we go back a few minutes. We go we go to the scene after Bob leaves the lab and go to his office. The Guyvers back the Guyvers fight backtrack and <laughs> went back to the lab and do a little more damage of they were not aware of the other, of, of the Garvey unit. Which, the Garvey unit has been tossed, been actually bounced, sp uh, rolled different parts of the ship down to the equipment, uh, to the equipment area. Thanks to the, the, the commotions that the two were making activated the experimental devices which <clears throat> the Giver unit was able was somehow able to or somehow ended up in in the area and I'm being the, being in the crossfire of the activations. Uh, what ha what happened was what's happening to what's gonna happen to the ship? What's doing to the soup to the Giver unit? At that point, at that moment, it landed on the platform. Boom! It has been teleported. Not not around, not somewhere on that planet, but in another universe. Or in yeah, in, in another universe. After it's been teleported, after the, after it's been teleported, the other parts of, of their equipment decided to do a little, uh, did a, <clears throat> had a little reaction to the other units, and decided to make to combine to make a one big bomb, which pretty much destroyed the ships. If there were any survivors, no, there would be none. Like none for about a mile. There would be none for miles. And that will and that's about it for that universe. Let's go and see where the Gyra unit is going is going to. There, 
the Garvey unit. <laughs> I want to apologize for the sound effects. <clears throat> like Doctor Who type of travel. <laughs> couple of moments later it landed or let's say well since it's teleported it it, it somewhat embedded in itself to some of the structures structure wall in the particular building which at that point of where it's been teleported to, it was barely discovered. Barely discovered by certain groups led by an ogre. They barely show up to the building, they did not even notice the Gyvern unit. Which, we, at, since we're, we have no business with the other universe, we, since we have no business in the universe that we don't longer need, we go a couple of, let's say a week, somewhat a week, Or <clears throat> let's go to the the point of time after of the after the commotion in a cave, exiting out of the cave were two two humans, one small blonde in a priest outfit, and one man. With a small shield, a leather chain, plated plated armor, with a very sh with a short sword. The sword is mostly for use in caves or mainly for killing goblins. After that, after they're run running in the cave. The priest decided to join Goblin Slayer Af after her party was killed due to the unknown surprise attack from the goblins. They go about their days, adventure after adventure. We go to the day of them coming back from a trip. Them entering a building, of which the guild, to be exact. They head to the main de the main desk. Goblin Slayer passing. Passing the persons that were in front of him. Him heard the word. Didn't her, but he was told the words. Uh, hey, excuse me. <clears throat> he walked up to the desk. It's finished. He walked up to the desk to the guild girl. And said the words. It's done. The woman congrats. Goblins. Congrats him in saying his name. Well done, Goblin Slayer. After the guild girl said their names, said, them, said his name, the group that he was passing by were in shock. Why they were shocked? Because he was the one they were looking for. The reason why they were looking for him, because they needed him for a goblin extermination. <clears throat> At 
After they heard Goblin Slayer's name and knew who he was, blah, 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 <clears throat> they had to talk, a little argument from the other party, him agreeing, agreeing to, to kill the goblins. He, he'd head out, talk to the priest, her, somewhat discussion, and them form, forming the party. And off they, off they go. Off they go to the particular, er, the particular particular ruins. They had their talk during the camp, during the night time at their campfire. Why, how they became adventurers, priests, or <clears throat> actually, I only saw the anime, but. <clears throat> Eventually, they had, they had, they were nearly there. They had to stop just to check of if there if there are any goblin guards or particular goblins having a lookout, which they have. They they did not spot them. Of them, which the amount of goblins, which is two goblins and one wolf. The elf ranger took her sh skilled arrow shot at the enemies, <laughs> instant kill in one go, or let's say. Two shots. After the kill, they walk up to the entrance. Before entrance, the the smell camouflage for the for the particular weapons and or the women. The elf ranger question of ill and why, and ended up either way still ended up being covered by the particular liquid that is what remains of the goblins. They either walk, notice some traps, questioning the gob goblin slayer question of the situation that is going about in the cave. Knowing in his experience it's neither the options that he has dealt with, but something else is leading the pact. <clears throat> we fast forward to the scene after after the rescue of the other elf ranger and putting to sleep and kill the goblins. By the way, after you know the details, they after putting to sleep and kill the goblins, they were they went forward into the other part of the room before they even go near the entrance of that room. Something they heard, boom. Boom. Something's coming coming at their direction. And exiting out of that room is none other the ogre. A very, 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 very tall ogre. It ain't trick. It ain't the reason I know because it ain't green. Nor antennas. No, you know those very e weird ear-like antennas. Well, they told me it's not a not Shrek, but it is an ogre. But 
I don't believe them. Shut up, Timmy. The goblin, the goblin slayer and his party looked at the creature that is entering the room, which they saw the ogre. The ogre responded, <laughs> I thought those stupid goblins were quiet. They are terrible foot soldiers. Goblin Sayer responded, uh, what is, what is that? Elf Ranger? <clears throat> do, do you not heard of ogres? Goblin Sayer responded, no, I have not. <laughs> the ogre responded, <laughs> you mock me. <laughs> Goblin Sayer, Slayer responded, nope. I have never heard of you. At, after res the response, the ogre, no hesitation, just boom, trying to try to kill, kill the guys, but try, but so much, or, <clears throat> you know how the fight goes. We go to the scene, to we go to the fight scene of where. Goblin Slayer had boom, the perfect strike at the back of the ogre's leg. But, him not knowing what ogres do, the ogre healed itself. After realizing, crap, he ended up being swatted. <laughs> right towards the wall. Or the particular parts of the wall and or pillar, he fell. In that room, some of the goblins, out of force of habit, made of some made another made a tunnel, out of force of habit, of them digging and make and going underground. They were halfway, somewhat like a, like, <clears throat> like, uh, let's say, let's say you're on the second floor, or the, the floor above the room, that, that's how long it is, or somewhat, is a picture that long, but in half. The goblins were stopped uh, after realizing realizing you know, where they're actually at, so they have no bother dealing, making the tunnel. We go back to the scene. Goblin Slayer, <coughs> after being hit, thrown, or hit towards the wall, he fell, tumbled, rolled into the tunnel. But let's go back a few seconds. Goblin Slayer hit in the wall or crashed against the wall. But at the very corner of his elbow, the right corner of his, oh, I mean, the right corner of his shoulder, a very oddly object. None of them nor the ogre or the goblins were aware of. Started to fell with Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer, along with the, the weird object, land, tumbled, rolled, halfway in the, in a half, half made tunnel, he landed along with the <coughs> Giver unit, which the Giver rolled a little bounce, boing, 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 boing. Goblin Slayer laying flat on his back, which 
he's pretty much out cold for the moment. Right? <clears throat> the cover unit rolled and boom, onto one of the bounced a little high and landed on the on Goblin Sayer's face. Well, the the helmet he was wearing opened up, revealing his face. He didn't realize, but at that point, Goblin Slayer's life is about to change. This is where I'm going to leave it off. Till next time. In next week, Friday, up uh, Thursday, the two videos either going to show up either or one or two videos going to show up next week either the 24th, the 25th, or the 26th. Is when the video one or two other videos will be posted. I apologize for some of the viewers. I did not properly. Well, I'm sorry I broke my promise of not working my butt off to make the story of it, but I worked my butt off to make the picture of it but for 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 Goblin Slayer but not this one but I had to modify this part of the picture I had a little trouble little ups and downs here and there but look at this Kind of reminds me of Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. That's right. Oh, that's right. There it is. There's the moneymaker. A wannabe Barbatos full, full power or full capacity. It's, yeah. It's kind of so. I kind of like the this picture. I had a little trouble and pain, but editing this picture on my phone, and also added this picture. Oh, I'm sorry. I I showed you too much, but you'll see. Yeah, I got you on cliffhanger, huh? That, yep, I end the story bef before he, he gets up and goes to action. Uh huh. <laughs> I got you on a cliffhanger, huh? Which, you know, in this video, I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger. This, just to see you guys watch, paying attention, and again, and again, sorry if I did not properly say the words. Of complete somewhat nonsense and ridiculous story. And this video is going to take a while for to up upload. Well, somewhat of an hour or two. But yes, <clears throat> anyway. As for next week's video, what if Izuku Midoriya had the robot or the Robocop. What if Isuke Hiroto was a reincarnation of Naruto? It is not going to be 18 and up thing. No, it will not. I cannot th think of something else about that, but nope, no 18 and up. No bad language. I'll sorry, apologize if I end up doing that. And no, no, no squares. 
No, no, no squares. No, 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 no. None of that. You stupid sickos. And after those two videos, I'm gonna go cro go to make the these this baby. Which I'm a little mixed feelings on which picture to go with. I do kind of like this one, but I'm gonna leave it, leave it you guys. Option number one, option number two, or bachelor bachelorette number three. Yeah, thanks to, thank, thank you guys for watching my videos. Hope you leave a like and subscribe, share to people that who want to like, want to watch this video. Take care. Thank you for showing some love and watching the video. Take it now. Bye bye then.